recording on the iPhone 11 selfie camera. So it allows me to get 60 frames per second, where the iPhone 7 does not let you do that in selfie camera mode. Fun fact.
Quick note to self here, I'm recording on the, the iPhone 11 selfie camera, so it allows me to do 60 frames per second, as I mentioned earlier. I'm curious the picture quality, if it's substantially better or not. The lighting is equally as bad as it was last night when I was recording, but I used my iPhone 7 selfie camera. I've been pleasantly surprised with the, the selfie camera on the old iPhones. My, my friend was able to explain to me, who's more versed on photography, was able to explain to me that in those years of Apple making the iPhone, they, they, he didn't, my friend didn't use the word compensated, but they had the rear-facing camera, which is historically known as the better quality camera, geared more towards taking pictures and videos of landscapes, whereas the uh, selfie camera was optimized for taking pictures and videos of humans. So. turned up the exposure to see if it makes makes any difference. I did that about 10, 15 seconds ago. the screen is going to make it the default exposure again oh so it did make this all the way down this is default and this is all the way up right there so it actually did make a, a decent difference I'll be curious if it makes as big of a difference on the iPhone 7 as it does iPhone 11 given the four-year time span pretty dark even though I had I had the exposure all the way up so I don't know what happened there so let me hit the default so that's the default exposure let me go all the way down. That's all the way down. This is default again. Let me go all the way up. Yeah, so it was pretty good at first, but now it's not making a huge difference. I would need to get this light on to make any, any substantial difference.
All right, so back in the car here, it seems like this light will need to be on to be able to film at all. Um, still have the exposure up all the way. What happens if I go default again? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a pretty big difference there. All the way down, default, all the way up. All right, I'll just leave that for now. I'll turn the light on maybe a little bit and see what's up. As I've mentioned, uh, filming in the car will use a good amount of gigabytes for filming video. But I've talked about this before of, I, I believe technology has a way of catching up to allowing us to do the things that we might not necessarily be able to do right this second. That being said, I don't mind the longer footage because I can have an artificial intelligence software go through it and first things first, take out the, the long silences. And if I just did that, these videos would be way shorter. On top of that, I can layer in taking out filler words. I could add in zoom in, zoom out, artificial intelligence, editing, um, even just AI trimming as well. On top of the cutting out of the silences, so I'll probably do that with this video and see how much time is, is, is cut out. just over 22 minutes at this point in the video. Making a note to, to verbally say that so that when I see the AI edit go through, I can tell, oh, look at the timestamp and see how much time we've taken off up to this point. So I think I had about six gigabytes free before I started filming this video. It's in 60 frames per second, so that will take up a little bit more space than the 30 frames per second. And um, it's a good test to see how much runtime I get if I have six gigabytes of free storage on my iPhone. That's one of the things where I like using the, the second iPhone, or, or in my case, an older iPhone, because it seems like the day-to-day -day use of our phones ends up using up a lot of storage before you start recording videos. So I like the, what I call backup iPhone to do for my, strictly for my video recording, 
and particularly with my iPhone 7, the selfie camera video gets good, good quality on on the uh, on filming people. So um, and so. Um, yeah, that's something I'm considering there. And then also, from a focus standpoint, I'm using my backup phone. I don't have text messages go through there. I don't have, I don't have uh, notifications go through there. So it, it might help me stay a little bit more focused when I'm recording. And it might be something that you might want to think about too if you feel like you get pretty distracted when you're trying to film your own videos. seven minutes of video runtime now. I'd be curious what the AI edit would be at at this point. Thank you. 
All right, so that's a wrap on this video. I'll see you in the next one.